How's it going, Aquarius? <clears throat> it's mid-month October. Got your abalone shell, some Palo Santo. I'm going to be using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Get some smudge going on for you guys. I have been shuffling, but I do like to re-smudge and reshuffle once I um, call in the energy to get started. It just as a kind of little extra oomph, um, you know what I mean? Aquarius, fellow air sign. I have a good buddy who's an Aquarius. I love that guy. He just says it how it is. It's true. I love air signs. We don't, I'm a Libra. It's no time to sugarcoat anything. Oh, Aquarius buddy. Okay, so calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good that would like to speak to my Aquarius friends for mid-month, October 2017. Uh, that was way too many. Okay, general energies, possibly love. We will see. I heard one more time, okay. So, it's cutting past, present, future. Two, three. Mm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm actually traveling this week, so I packed my cards. So I'm pulling out my old decks, um, and I forgot to take it out of the box. That would be very helpful before I started a reading with them, which means I will also have to shuffle this, but that's later. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. No jumpers. Uh, so that's a, you know. No, neither here nor there. There just are no jumpers. Okay, Aquarius. Looking into the first couple of weeks in October, there was a tower moment for you. Possibly with a Libra. Or it was because there was an imbalance. And something was built on a shaky foundation in which it, it there balance was needed. Something was put on the set of scales there and it just didn't you know, work out for you because then you have the nine of pentacles and this is, okay. So nine of pentacles is talking about either being single or talking about being content and the fact that getting to the place of contentment took a long time. Um, and so here you are at your place of contentment, but then something happened because of a lack of balance or because of a Libra. And in your base, you have the four of pentacles. So while this tower moment happened and you needed to have this change, you're still holding on to it because the four of pentacles talks about holding on to what you have. But under that, you have the fool. So you want to jump. You want to start the new thing. You want to just completely just slate clean and just put the rose colored glasses on and go, but you're still holding on to whatever this tower moment is. And then for some people, I think it's going to be a marriage. I don't have any marriage cards here, but I did hear there's a little bit of, um, something wasn't built on a foundation that is conducive for you continuing to feel content. And that's important because peace of mind without it can break a person. I mean, it's just true. Okay, so then moving into your present, you have the Page of Cups, and, okay, so you have this Page of Water. <clears throat> this is news, or somebody says something to you about your emotions, or you find out something about your emotions, and y you feel disappointed about it. This is the Five of Cups. Look at her face. <gasps> She's just so, like, are you kidding me? You know, like, I can't believe that just happened. And this is right now when you're present, but you also have the page of earth. So you have news about love and home. And you're like, oh, so that's happening right now. Oh, my God. And you have the page of air. I just pulled a lot of these same cards for Capricorn, but you have the magician. 
So what does that mean? Okay, I'll tell you what it means. It means that even though all of this stuff is coming into your ear and you're hearing all of these things that are just making or like finding out about these things that are making you upset, you have the power to change any of it. The magician, but with the magician, it's important to understand that you first have to decide what it is that you want because you can't just go around doing all these, you know, so picture like an old school wizard, right? He's got his wicked cool hat on and he's in his like office with like all these little bottles and trinkets and there's like weird colored water. He's not just randomly splashing this and that and hoping something good happens. As a magician, he's like, okay, here's what my final goal is supposed to be. If I take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of these things and put them all together, it should work out, hypothetically speaking, in the manner that I want it to work out in. And I just feel like in your recent past, you've just been kind of like, I feel good. I'm content. I'm going to do whatever I want. And then that kind of caught up with you. And when I say that, it doesn't mean that like you did something bad. It just means that, you know, when you get in a place where you're doing good and doing good, you kind of start to let your guard down and stop. Like, I want to say stopping to pay attention about the things that could happen, but I just don't feel like you were expecting anything to change like this. And I just, you're just like, I don't know what to do with it. What do I do with that? Right? I'll tell you what you do. You become the magician and you change your situation because in your future you have love. And this is like love. This isn't the lovers. This is the love card. And okay. So there she is with her big cat, big giant lion. You know, the lion loves the lamb. This is talks about, it's the lover's card. So it can absolutely talk about love. But in this deck, specifically, she speaks about this Colette Baron reed the author, talks about loving yourself. All this oneness. What else do you have with this? Oh, with the queen of air. Well, no kidding. Because, okay, so this is either in one scenario for how many other people are going to watch this. This is you hooking up with your air sign. This could be your Libra. This could be, you know, whatever. But you have to remember that the queen of air has been hurt. The queen of swords will cut you. She will. So you, you know, kind of like back up on that. But you also got the victory card here. So something here in the next couple of weeks. You've got the relationship, the lady, and the victory. So if you're a male, so when you, when you have these face cards in a general reading, it doesn't mean male or female. It could be either. So whoever this airy type energy person is in your life, the, it, this is, this is, and when I, and when tarot readers say coming towards you, that doesn't mean coming towards you, then you get it. Like it means that you, it will be in your space. And then whatever you do in your space could very much potentially change the outcome. But in around Halloween, you have victory, love with a queen. Heck yeah, right? Oh, and in your face, you have the sun. That is so lovely. And the sun is like the most positive card in the deck because it brightens everything. Literally, it's the sun. It brings life to things. Without the sun, there is nothing can live or grow, right? Mm. But then under the sun, you have the chariot. So this talks about uh, moving forward. I was going to say moving on, but I don't. I don't think it's that. It's moving forward, which is great. So you have this. You know, this isn't really as when I read your uh, first line there in your past talking about, oh, you have this, you're feeling good, and then you have this tower moment. You know, I think that needs to happen, particularly, and like I said, I got a good buddy who's an Aquarius, and he's like the most content person I've ever met in my life. He's not the only Aquarius that I know, but I know quite, I know a couple of Aquariuses, and they're all like, whatever, I'm good. They just are good, because most Aquariuses that I know are doing whatever it is that they want to do, which is a very air way to be. But the point is, is that every once in a while, 
things are not great anymore. And you're like, what the hell just happened? And that's your tower moment. And it doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm getting divorced or, oh, you know, somebody died. It could be something as simple as like, you know, you were so, so happy with your cell phone carrier and it was a great price. And you get this bill and they like charged you all these late fees. And you're like, are you kidding me? Like now I have to go through this whole thing. So you have to understand that tarot is in the zodiac. Okay. The people born under Aquarius are all going to experience these things in this spectrum. Okay. <clears throat> Except that everybody who is in the Aquarian cycle has a different life purpose, a different, a different path. And so something that comes at you, let's say a tower moment, it's going to be so all Aquarians will get a tower moment, but then for you, it'll be like this. And for you, it'll be like that. And for you, it's going to be really bad, but then for you, you know, so it doesn't, it just, it, that's why everyone says, Oh, if this resonates with you, if this resonates with you, I mean, it's, some of it's going to resonate with you, but it, you need to put it in your own, um, I heard your own ballpark. Um, okay. Oh, that makes sense. I guess. Okay. So now we are asking the fairies. Let me give you a little warning about fairies. This is the Brian Froud fairy deck. This is my very first deck ever. And I totally cheated and uh, wrote the meanings on the top because I was 13 and I didn't know why I needed these cards. Turns out it's like my life, but here's the warning about fairies. They are not really concerned with how you feel about what they have to say. And sometimes they are like super duper tough lovey, which means, you know, Fair warning. Don't take it personally. It's just the fairies aren't, they don't really sugarcoat anything. And with all this air in your chart right now or in your reading here, uh, you're probably used to that. One more, please, fairies. Thank you. How about one more? Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Love given, loved received. Balance, balance. What you put out there is what you're going to get back. It's all about balance. If you put out hate and where's my queen of error? Anyways, if you put hate and nasty words, you're going to get hate and nasty words back. If you exhume love, you're going to get love back. And that's what a lot of us have been talking about over this month is that um, our main purpose here living inside of this vessel is to, okay, so the, the ultimate energy that we all are made of is the energy of love. That's, I mean, if you want to make it simple, the white light, God, all of that, it's love. It is. And your only job here is to live like that. And what you put out is how much you get back. And if you're looking for more love, if you're looking for more things to be positive, then you need to be positive. And then right under that, you have your perceptive card. It's about a change of perception. So if you're getting all these things coming at you that are negative and you're like, I don't understand, perhaps change your perspective on that a little bit. And because when you do, you get clear sight. You get the clarity that you were looking for once you change, once you get the balance, once you start equalizing what you're putting out there, once you change your perception, then you have the clear sight. And this mystery card is oh, clear sight and universal knowledge and consciousness. This is all in your head. This is all about changing the way that you speak, changing the way that you um, deal with your tower because everyone will have a tower every couple of weeks. Something changes because if things don't change, how do you learn? How do you grow? How do you move? So you will be constantly and continuously presented with these and, um, it's up to you how you deal with it. Okay, Aquarius? So I do uh, appreciate it. I'll be back around here around October, uh, around and, oh, hello. And I'll talk to you then. Have fun.